Hi, and welcome to Velf Creations. We are really excited about opening this box, so let's jump right in. First things first. As a disclaimer, we wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored, but We Create did send us over their 20 watt vision laser for us to review and share with our subscribers. The thoughts about the vision are our own, and We Create did not review this video before release. Now let's move on to the fun stuff. When unboxing the vision, it's impressive to see how well packaged everything is. The laser is surrounded by thick foam and secured with sturdy bands. Just a heads up, don't make the mistake we made by cutting the bands inside the box. A better option would be to remove the entire foam bundle from the box first and then cut the straps. As you can see, we struggled a bit with this. Below the laser, you will also find the laser bed, which is a set of two slotted metal plates. Everything else is packaged nicely inside the laser itself. We will remove the protective plastic, tape, and the film on the acrylic so we can take a look inside. The Vision is the perfect size to have in an office or garage. It has a really nice footprint that will allow you to engrave larger items like cutting boards and even tumblers. Where some lasers require an additional riser bed, the Vision just requires a tap of a button in the software and it will automatically expand its height to fit your material. More on that later in the video. Everything you need is inside the Vision, also surrounded by foam padding to keep it safe and secure. As you guys know, we love making laser engraved tumblers, and We Create was kind enough to also send us their rotary bundle. We can't wait to give that a try. In the box, you'll also find the power supply, cables, exhaust hose, and a small accessory pack that includes everything you need to get up and running. Another benefit of the Vision is that all the variations of the laser bundles include air assist, which make your engravings, especially on wood, come out so clean without the need for masking or sanding afterwards. Unboxing was nice and straightforward, but the one suggestion we would have for We Create is to include the manual at the very top of the packaging. Looking at the manual shows two options for unboxing the Vision, but a user won't see this until they get the laser out of the box. Not a huge issue, but is something that could help users who don't have a second person to help. Setting up the Vision is also really straightforward, and we will start with the exhaust hose. There are four nuts located on the back of the Vision that first need to be removed. This will allow you to install the exhaust hose connector. After that, we will add all four nuts back on. A Wi-Fi antenna can also be added at this time, and that simply screws onto the back and is oriented to point up. Now, we can move on to the air assist. There are two things that we need to attach. A tube that provides the airflow, and also a power cable that will automatically turn on the air assist when the engraving is started. The power cable is also located on the back of the machine and can be plugged in now. Finally, the last step is to attach the exhaust hose that is securely fastened using a clamp. Back to the front of the machine, we will install the detachable tray. This will catch any small pieces and also let you engrave larger things like tables when removed. Switching on the laser will automatically raise it to the highest position. And this will allow us to place the laser bed into the base one at a time. While we do that, let's talk about the inside of the vision. The lid contains lights that help illuminate the work area, as well as a camera that will allow you to perfectly place any design on your material. This laser is fully enclosed, which is great when using it indoors, and makes it really safe without having the need to wear glasses. There are a few places that are a bit exposed inside, so dust and residue may be a pain to clean, but overall it feels like a well-built and sturdy machine. The Vision works with We Create's own software called Make It. We will quickly go through some of the main features before we jump into our first project. Opening up the software, we will be greeted with some projects that we can use for inspiration or purchase directly from We Create. Everything is nicely laid out, and there are some filtering options, such as different themes and holidays or type of material that you want to work with. A section labeled My Stuff 
will show recent projects, purchases, and bookmarks, making it nice and easy to reproduce your previous work. We started by connecting to our machine with a USB cable, which then allowed us to set up Wi-Fi. So once we open up our canvas, the software will automatically refresh the camera view so we can see our laser bed. The Make It software includes everything you need to create designs without the need of a third-party software. We have the ability to add a variety of shapes, text, select from a library of images, as well as generate an image with AI. However, this feature is for members only. A pen tool that allows you to create custom shapes. Another fun feature is having the ability to create custom jigsaw puzzles right from within the software. That is pretty neat. We will be putting out more videos covering specific aspects of the software, so if you would like to see more, please send us a like, subscribe, and comment to let us know what else you would like to see. Now let's start our first project. We will be making a really cool bowl that only needs a single piece of plywood. We start by importing and resizing our design. To get our design positioned properly on the plywood, we will click the autofocus button. This will move the laser head over the position of our design and then lower the entire top part to set the focus. We Create has a great material library that allows you to preview settings based on a testing grid that they created. This really removes a lot of the guesswork, especially when you are just starting off. Then we can select our design and click on Cut. Here we can see that all of our settings have been pre-populated. Let's get this started. A pop-up window will display the estimated processing time, and all we need to do is click the button on the front of the laser to start the job. This cut job will take about 13 minutes total, and we would like to share some additional information about the vision. We have the 20-watt version of this laser, which is great for cutting, and also fine detailed engravings. We Create has also recently released a 40-watt version. Users can also purchase a 2-watt infrared module that will mark materials like metals and plastics. The max speed of the vision is 600 millimeters per second, but it is currently unidirectional, so the laser switches off when resetting back to the left position. The processing is done and we were so impressed with how well the air assist worked. Typically for raw wood that isn't clear coated, we would use some sort of masking to keep the edges clean, but there is no additional work required. The built-in material settings worked perfectly and the cut went all the way through in one pass. Now, let's get this assembled. The way this design works is that each level of the bowl stacks on top of each other and is glued together anywhere the layers overlap. If you would like to try this design, we will provide a link in the description where you can get it for free. If you haven't made one of these before, we suggest stacking them first just to get familiar with where to add the glue. And just like that, you have a beautiful bowl that was created with minimal material waste. Next, we will be engraving a wooden coaster. We imported this cabin design into Make It, but it is a bit hard to see, so we can select it and change the color. We can also resize and rotate the design just right since we didn't really position the coaster perfectly on the work area. For the material, we ended up just leaving it under base wood, but switched over to engraving. By expanding the material test grid, we can select the exact look that we are going for. Once we hit start, we will see that the engrave time is about 18 minutes. We can fix that, but first, let's see what the cause is for such a long engraving. Our design was split up into multiple parts, so you can see that it is starting off with the square around the cabin first. Even though it is passing over the entire coaster, it is still only engraving the square. Once it is done, it will move back to the top and engrave all the other parts. Let's cancel this and hop back into the software and fix it. An easy fix is to simply select your design, hit Merge in the toolbar, and select Merge Graphic Shapes. We will also increase our power to 100% and our speed to 350. That will bring our engraving time down to just over 8 minutes. Now we can see that the entire design is being engraved all at once and that really speeds up the processing time. The engraving turned out great with crisp lines and a nice dark color.
we also wanted to try engraving our logo onto a slate coaster. This one was just over one minute. While that is engraving, we wanted to take a moment to express our heartfelt thanks to all our incredible subscribers. We started this YouTube journey last August, and in less than a year, we've grown to 4,200 subscribers. Your support and enthusiasm have been truly encouraging. Without you, we wouldn't have the opportunity to create these laser engraving videos and test out all these fantastic machines. Your comments, likes, and shares keep us motivated and excited to continue exploring and sharing our projects. Every subscriber, every view, and every interaction means so much to us. You've helped build this community, and we're grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being part of our journey and for helping us grow. We're looking forward to bringing you even more exciting content in the future. Nice, this turned out perfect. Now onto our last project, a tumbler. The bundle that we received with the Vision includes a rotary tool that we are really excited about. We will start by installing the rotary inside the laser. We first need to remove the laser bed. Next, we can attach the rotary to the left side of the machine with a couple of bolts. As many of you know, making tumblers is one of our favorite things to do. And it is really nice to have a rotary tool that attaches in the same spot every time, allowing us to more easily handle batch processing. We added our tumbler to the chuck, clamped it down so it is secure, and added the rotary holder to support the end of the tumbler. Before we close the lid, we also want to grab the measurement around our tumbler. Great. Now let's head back to our computer. In the software, all we need to do is switch the mode over to laser cylindrical, import our design, and also add our perimeter in the side menu. Next, we chose to do 100% power, 350 speed, and 200 lines per centimeter. Then we can hit start. Those settings ended up working perfectly and just left a bit of residue around the engraving that can be cleaned up with some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. The edges are nice and clean, and the metal looks shiny without the brown burnt look. There you have it, folks. We had a blast with the We Create Vision 20 Watt Laser Engraver and Cutter. Don't forget to refer to the user manual or online resources if you need any further assistance. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching, and stay creative.